Good evening. My name is Laura Rogers, and I'd like to welcome you to the 18th annual Best and Brightest Award Ceremony here in the beautiful Ruby Diamond Concert Hall. Tonight's ceremony will honor the amazing contributions from Leon County's exemplary high school seniors, both in and outside the classroom, and some of them even from when they were at home. The honorable mentions, runners-up, and winners announced tonight are the students who have set an example of academic success and community service and are constantly raising the bar for all of Leon County's students. Two years of the amended classrooms did not dampen the enthusiasm for learning in a new format or being involved in different ways with school programs and athletics and the arts and the service clubs. Our eighth grade students have written inspiring essays on using their democratic voice through volunteerism. You'll hear us describe what dedicated and thoughtful students they are, and we want them to leave a legacy to inspire individuals to become more selfless, to take action, and not wait around for a change, but to be that change. All of these best and brightest finalists are dedicated, excellent, and humble. First of all, I would like to thank our title sponsor, Envision Credit Union. Envision has supported the Best and Brightest Awards since its creation in 2006 and helped to award more than $931,000 to 3,175 12th graders and 8th graders in the Leon County school system and community. And we couldn't do that besides with Envision, but with some of the other businesses that support this program. These include our partners, the Tallahassee Democrat, Saks Media, Comcast, Hub International, Sperry & Associates, Ron Sachs and Gay Webster Sachs, Comcast um, with Leon County Schools, the City of Tallahassee, Leon County Government, Tallahassee Ford Lincoln, Neighbors Giblin Nickerson, the attorneys at law, Walmart, Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare, the Florida Association of District School Superintendents, Career Source Florida, Mainline Information Systems and Summit International Group, Target Print and Copy and Mail, and Awards for You. Their support allows us to award all these school based finalists with at least a $100 scholarship. The overall category honorable mentions tonight will be awarded $500, runners up will receive five, uh, excuse me, $750, and the winners will be presented a $1,500 cash scholarship. In addition to the scholarships, that's wonderful. In addition to the scholarships provided to each of the students, World Class Schools, which is a program of the Greater Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce, donates $100 to the Department of the Grand Prize Winner's School in each of the 15 categories. We're really excited to be able to honor our eighth grade contest um, participants. This is our 12th year. As the additional element of the Best and Brightest Awards, uh, Leon County's eighth graders entered essay submissions about the importance of community service. The winner tonight will receive $500, runner-up will receive $250, and the honorable mention will receive $100. These students will now be able to begin their high school careers with goals of excellence in academics and service in mind, and hopefully partake in the Best and Brightest Awards in four more years. We'd also like to thank uh, Leon County's public and private high schools for their service and work in nominating the school-based winners. Their dedication of encouraging students to excel in academics and service really is the amazing part of grooming and get, getting these schools, um, the students involved. I would like to give a round of applause to our Leon County School Board members who are here tonight. I just saw a few here, if y'all wouldn't mind standing. And our wonderful principals, guidance counselors, our teachers, and all the schools that are involved, please stand as we applaud you.
Let's not forget the importance of the Best and Brightest Committee, our judges and the volunteers who make this scholarship program possible. At this time, I'd like to have the audience um, tonight please thank our, our volunteers who have worked so hard and if there are any uh, judges that might have been able to attend, um, please stand up and also any past Best and Brightest finalists and winners who have come back, um, please stand, we will honor you. Thank you. So we love being back here at Ruby Diamond, and I have to say thank you to the staff who has helped us every year, and the videographers with WFSU who will broadcast this uh, ceremony program on YouTube and also in um, the, the channels as we get it edited. Um, we're so very appreciative of our very talented Benjamin Gunner as our pianist tonight, and so glad to have him. So please, let me start and invite Michelle Ubin with the president and CEO of Saks Media to the stage, who will serve as our mistress of ceremonies tonight. Good evening. Are you excited? <laughs> All right. Well, let's begin our ceremony tonight by welcoming this year's eighth grade essay finalists as they enter from the back of the auditorium. And now, please join me in welcoming this year's Class of 2023 Best and Brightest High School Seniors.
Now, doesn't the stage look a little bit better? I want you to know that every one of you is a winner tonight just by being nominated in the category you were nominated for. So let's take a moment to have all of these winners smile for our photographer, David Barfield, who's in the balcony, and accept one more enthusiastic round of applause. It is truly, it is truly inspirational to see almost 200 young people here tonight who have made such a positive impact on our community. We also want to thank you, parents, teachers, mentors, and friends for instilling great values in these students and raising up such awesome young people. It's a great blessing to see these students in person after hosting virtual ceremonies for the past two years. But we need to set some house rules for our award ceremony. Parents, friends, family members, I know you're going to want to clap and cheer and say, that's my baby, and shout your child's name, and way to go. So when you feel that urge, do it. Just, just do it. <laughs> this is one event where we don't ask you to hold back. We want you to, to see, feel, and hear your excitement for these amazing young people, and just get into it. Enjoy yourselves. I also want to take a minute to say how proud I am of my good friend and business partner, Ron Sachs, who dreamed up the Best and Brightest Awards 18 years ago and sustained and grew it with the support of all of the sponsors you will hear from in a few minutes. His vision was to honor not just the students with the highest GPA or the highest SAT scores, but those who excel in different areas and pour their passion into service for our community. That vision has built a culture of service among Leon County High School students, and our community is better for it. Ron and his wife, Gay, are traveling out of the country because they're celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary and are not able to be here tonight, but please join me in a round of applause for them. <laughs> Seniors, take a look at the medallion you're wearing tonight. That medallion represents your dedication to leadership, learning, and service to your school and your community. We hope you will take those commitments with you and build on them throughout your lives. Each year, the school-based winners far surpass our expectations. The best and brightest judges were impressed with every one of the school-based winners. You presented yourselves with confidence in your interview, and your knowledge and character came shining through. Before we announce the 2023 Best and Brightest Award winners, runners-up, and honorable mentions, we would like to invite a few special guests tonight to speak to you, because these awards would not exist without them. I appreciate your patience while we welcome them to share their congratulations. Please welcome Dr. Cassandra Grayson, Envision Credit Union's Board of Directors Chair, and our premier sponsor. Good evening. I am grateful and honored to experience this exciting awards event. As chair of a volunteer board of directors of Envision Credit Union, I am proud that we have been a sponsor of the Best and Brightest Awards since its inception in 2006. We are honored to continue to be the premier sponsor of this awards event. As an education-based, member-owned credit union, it is our responsibility to encourage and support the education and mentorship of our youth. We are pleased to provide a foundation that these great awards, these students can be recognized for their unique accomplishments. To date, Envision Credit Union has contributed over $650,000 towards scholarships, and our employees enjoy participating in the Best and Brightest Awards ceremony. Students, I personally congratulate you for your success. 
I would also commend your parents, guardians, and teachers who have helped along the way. These students, we are honored tonight. They have been impacted by some very special teachers. Their teachers have inspired them with love for their subject matter, their caring for each of the students' success, their encouragement and support for extracurricular and community service. We love our teachers. Let's give our teachers a round of applause. Your teachers trusted you to do your best, but students, you realize that their trust required personal responsibility. Your teachers respected your uniqueness, but you realize that their respect had to be earned often. Your teachers encouraged your independence, and students, you soon discovered that you had to step out with self-confidence. Finally, as teachers and parents supported your community service, you found that kindness is a strength, not a weakness. You are amazing future leaders. George Washington Carver once said, learn to do common things uncommonly well. You will command the attention of the world. You did that, students, and we are so proud of you. Let's give the students another round of applause. Envision Credit Union is proud to recognize you for your achievements. Students, we commend you for your talent, focus, hard work, and for setting an example for other Leon County students who will follow you. We wish you much success in the future as your journey unfold. Keep soaring and keep doing amazing things. Thank you, Dr. Grayson. Now we welcome the executive editor of our hometown newspaper, the Tallahassee Democrat, William Hatfield, a founding partner in this project. Thank you, uh, and good evening, everyone. So I will begin with full disclosure. I am terrified of public speaking. So, to get over that, I am going to take a selfie with some of the smartest people I know. Now we're gonna do this. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna need some hands up. <laughs> That's perfect. I will tell you, he is far more important than me to have a selfie with, so uh, uh, that was a good choice. At the Tallahassee Democrat, we are so pleased to be involved in tonight's celebration of the best and brightest. I interview a lot of people in my job, but one of the most inspiring each year is when I get to sit down with the student geniuses in the journalism and media category. The students you will meet tonight are truly the best of the best. They give us all a glimpse of what Leon County's youth are involved in and the positive impact they have made already in such a short time in their lives. Even best and brightest award school-based finalists, every best and brightest school award uh, finalist had his or her photo featured in the Democrat this past Sunday. I'm the only speaker with a prop. Here it is. Tomorrow, a full-page ad will feature the top three award winners in each of the 15 categories, and we will feature the 64-page color insert with bios and features of all the students, so make sure to look for that special section. <laughs> T 
tomorrow morning. You will also find complete coverage in a photo gallery of tonight's celebration online at Tallahassee.com. But there's more. In Friday's paper, we will have a complete coverage of tonight's event with plenty of photos from our photojournalist, Alicia Devine. Uh, it might even be on the front page, though I've learned better to predict that 36 hours out in this town. Uh, what I do know is the students here tonight all have impressive records of commitment to service and academic achievement. Everyone at the Democrat is proud to present these outstanding students with the recognition they deserve. Congratulations. Thank you, William. The 64-page section that he mentioned will also be available in the lobby after the ceremony tonight. You can take as many as you like. We are blessed to have highly ranked and high-performing schools in Leon County, and we look forward to their continued success under the leadership of our next speaker, Leon County Superintendent of Schools, Rocky Hanna. Please join me in welcoming <laughs> Superintendent Hanna. All right, so Hatfield already stole my, uh, my selfie, annual selfie picture with the best and brightest class of 2023. Uh, they recognize our school board mem members here tonight. I see our mayor here, uh, other elected officials. Raise your hand. Thank you so much for being here. Roseanne Wood, my colleague. And, and one more time, because we can't do this enough. If you are a school administrator or a teacher, stand up again to be recognized. Lord knows you deserve it. And students, before I make some brief remarks, I want you to do me a favor. Before you leave, or shortly thereafter, I want you to go by and say thank you to your administrators and to your teachers. They need it more than ever right now, okay? So make sure to make a point to write them a letter or pick up the phone and call them. Uh, it'll mean a lot. You're the reason that we're all in this profession, okay? So please do that for me. It's hard to believe it's been 18 years since Ron Sachs and Laura Rogers came to me when I was at Leon High School with this idea of recreating an award ceremony that Ron had when he was a senior in South Florida. Each year, this ceremony gives me renewed hope from the future of our state and our great nation at a time when we need it more than ever. Students selected to sit on the stage tonight represent the best of the best, not only in their respective school and in our community, but of all students throughout the state of Florida and our great country. Students, tonight you are being recognized for your outstanding academic achievement and leadership in one of 15 different categories. For these accomplishments, you should be extremely proud of yourself. Also tonight, you are being recognized for something I believe much more important, the size of your heart. I have said many times during my 35 year career with our school system, what our kids do in the classroom, on the athletic field, and in the arts is important. However, to learn at a very young age to give back and help others, that's a lesson that's invaluable. It's probably the greatest single lesson we could ever teach our children. Famous boxer Muhammad Ali once said that service to others is the rent we pay for our room here on earth. Each of us must earn our place. To be on the stage tonight means that each of you have given countless hours outside of school to support local organizations, to help other people, many who are much less fortunate than you are. More importantly, you have served as role models to your younger classmates and peers by unselfishly giving of your own time to support humanitarian causes, even when it may have not been the cool, convenient, or easy thing to do. This is what you should be most proud of. No matter the outcome tonight, each and every one of you are winners, and I cannot tell you how very proud I am of you. Just as you have made your mark in your schools, so will you enrich the lives, so will you enrich the colleges and universities you attend, as well as the businesses and, uh, and other careers you decide to choose for your life. Congratulations again on this achievement, and as our school board member Daryl Jones likes to say, the best is yet to come. God bless you.
Thank you, Superintendent Hanna, for your devotion to all of our students in Leon County. We are fortunate to live in a city with many outstanding institutions of higher learning where students can continue their education and career development. Please welcome one of our partners, Bill Spires, Director of Financial Aid with Tallahassee Community College. Good evening. And on behalf of our Board of Trustees and our President, Dr. Jim Murdaugh, I offer you congratulations and best wishes on your next path to success. Tallahassee Community College is recognized annually as one of the top 100 colleges for the number of associate degrees awarded and nearly 75 to 80% of our graduates transfer to the state university system primarily to FSU and FAMU within a year primarily to the schools again right here in Tallahassee. As in years past, Tallahassee Community College has partnered with the best and brightest to add an additional scholarship opportunity to the top 45 winners. Those winners announced tonight will also receive from Tallahassee Community College additional funds of an annual amount up to two years to attend TCC based on the level of winning with the best and brightest awards. Those students who receive honorable mention will receive $1,000 each year towards TCC tuition. Runners up receive $1,500 each year towards TCC tuition, and winners receive $3,000 each year towards to TCC tuition. <clears throat> I hope that those that are interested in attending TCC, no matter what level of finalist, will contact me to help you earn your degree. Over the last few years, we've heard a lot about artificial intelligence. Tonight, we have the real intelligence in front of us. You are the students we are most proud to have attend TCC because you are dedicated to your studies and you're active with your school. Congratulations, and we hope to provide you these scholarships and hope to see many of you as TCC Eagles in the fall. Thank you. Thank you, Bill, and thank you to TCC for your generous support of the top winners who choose to attend Tallahassee Community College. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker. Mark Ziegler has been a teaching professor in the FSU School of Communication, where he has received numerous teaching awards throughout his career. Twice he was selected by students and alumni for the University Teaching Award and was also named the 2009 Distinguished Teaching Award recipient, which is the highest honor that Florida State University students and faculty can bestow on a professor. For almost 28 years, Ziegler has taught FSU students the importance of public speaking and how to be a persuasive speaker. In 2014, he was inducted into the FSU Alumni Association's Circle of Gold in recognition of his contributions to the university. If you've ever attended an FSU commencement ceremony, you know Mark Ziegler has the task of announcing every graduate's name as they receive their diploma. That means calling more than 1,000 names in about two hours without stopping. We might need his help tonight. This fall, he'll be taking on a new position with the College of Business. Please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker this evening, Mr. Mark Ziegler. Thank you, Ben. I heard the, do you hear the people sing earlier? I saw the arts kids coming in, kind of humming along with the songs that you would put out. I want to say that I am really happy to share a town with you guys. I look forward every year to when this hits in the Democrat, and then I start hearing from Laura about the judging taking place. I'm always particularly interested, because it's my own background, in the public speaking folks. Where are the public speaking finalists? All right. Really, really proud of y'all. Those of you who aren't a public speaking finalist, which is great, all right, other areas, still work on your public speaking. All right, it's very important. It can be the thing that sets you apart from others. So I wanna do this very quickly because when you hear a keynote speaker after all we've done, you're thinking, man, we are not gonna get to dinner 
And I, like you, want to get to dinner, and we want to honor these incredible young people and these eighth graders who are sitting there thinking, how am I going to get up there in four years? Just keep working. The number one thing that I wanted to impress upon all of us, but mainly those of you being honored tonight, is how important your credibility is when you make your way out into the world. Over the next couple weeks, you're going to go through a lot of graduation ceremonies, and you're going to hear one speaker after another, and they mean well, and you intend to listen, but you never remember anything that they say. And having been a speaker at numerous graduations, no one cares, all right? And I understand, and I feel your pain, but at the same time, I know how important credibility can be. And so I've got a little mnemonic device, D-E-T-E. So sometimes y'all ask for, what are the deets? All right, that's the details for when you're going to a party. The deets here, D-E-T-E, are how you maintain your credibility as a human being. And what is credibility? Believability, okay? Number one, and as a university professor who's thought, taught tens of thousands of students, I have numerous stories that I will not belabor tonight. But number one with me is dynamism. You walk into the room with enthusiasm and energy. That when you walk into the room, the professor and your fellow students say, that person's got something going on. So you stand up, you walk like you mean it, you own the place. Here, here's the difference. When you walk in, when you, whatever you do next fall, the spirit of the room is going to go up. And then I wanna, want you to watch the people who walk in the room and in their very manner suck the life right out of the room. That's not who you're going to be. Number two, develop your expertise. You've got to find an area that's yours, where you're going to become the best in that area. It can be auto mechanics, it can be neuroscience, it can be surgery, it can be pressure washing, it can be being a librarian, it can be going into education, all of the careers that are going to be open to you. How do you develop the expertise? Number one, research. Read, study, learn. Number two, experience. Get out there and get your hands dirty. Do some of the work. Number three, make a commitment. Make a commitment to something so that you stand for something and you will develop expertise in that area. What does the T stand for? Trustworthiness. Trustworthiness. Your appointments at eight, you're always there before time. When, it, when it's time for you to give a presentation at work or at school, you don't call the teacher and say, I can't give my talk this morning, I have a sniffle. No, you can do the sniffles when you're in third grade, when you get to college, when something's due, you get there and do it. When you get that first job professionally, some of you in the next couple of months, eight o'clock the first day, you're there at 745. Trustworthiness. And finally, ethics. Do you follow the rules? Do you have a sense of right and wrong? This is the right thing to do. This is the wrong thing to do. And have an ethical advisor. Mine is in this building. You go up the stairs, you go up down toward the president's office, you go into the general counsel, Florida State, who's one of my good friends, Carolyn Egan. Once or twice a week, I will call her and say, hey, Carolyn, how about this tweet that I want to send out? And she'll go, eh, thumbs down on that one. Most of the time, she'll say, yep, I think we're good there. Check everything. Okay, so here you go. Dynamism, expertise, trustworthiness, and ethics. And you know, all of that, you have the rest of your life to keep building that. And I want you to have 100%. You can destroy it with one post on social media. So I want you to be, and, and that's us too. I know you hear it from the above, your parents, your grandparents. Parents mess up too. Here's the other thing. Eight years ago, a young man came up to me. We'd gone through a whole semester of communication stuff. And he said, Ziegler, my head is about to explode. So many good things you've said. I've learned a lot. I want to remember all of those things. But do you have a bottom line? And I said, you know what? Let me think about it. Two nights I didn't sleep. I said, yeah, I got a bottom line when I saw him on Wednesday, two days later. I said, whenever you go to interact with someone, figure out what your intention is for that conversation. What is your intention? And here's what I'll tell you. The world is set up, as your parents and your elders know, to pile a bunch of poop on you while you're going through life. People just shoveling dirt, shoveling poop, piling it in your way. 
You can help everyone who's going through that by in your conversations with other people, lighten the load. Lighten the load. You don't have to yell at the lady at Whataburger. It's fries and a cheeseburger. Why would that upset you? <laughs> Be nice to everyone with whom you operate. Because what happens, that's, thank you. What happens is people get in there and they play up. Oh, the president's here. Let me, ooh, the president's here. Oh, the mayor is here. By the way, ask the mayor how he graduated from Florida State. There's a story. <laughs> and then that same person who is genuflecting in front of the president and the executive officer will walk by a janitor or an usher and act like they don't even exist. You can judge people how they treat those that are lesser than themselves. I want you treating the president just like you treat the people that are mowing the yard and getting the gum off, off the bricks in front of the Westcott building. Lighten the load. How can I help? I'm just so darn proud of you, and I'm proud of this program. And for those of you who are coming to Florida State, let me see the hands. All right. All right. We got a big fall for you guys. Where are my fam you? Where are my fam you? All right, man, just across the street. Where are my TCC folks? All right. They got money waiting for you. Where are our folks here that are going into the workforce or the military? Anyone? All right. How many of you have no idea what you're going to do? <laughs> and you know what? You're still the best and brightest. <laughs> Proud of you kids. Thank you, parents. Thank you, Tallahassee community. Have a hell of a time tonight. Thank you, Mark, for that great advice and those inspirational words. We now welcome Dr. Grayson and Laura Rogers back to the stage. As Laura mentioned, in years past, we wanted to light a fire an, among the middle schoolers who've been learning about civics to kindle their own interest in community service. From this goal, we launched our eighth grade essay contest in all the public and private middle schools and home schools. This year, students were asked to reflect upon the following quote. The heart of a volunteer is not measured by size, but by the depth of the commitment to make a difference in the lives of others, Deanne Hollis. Each middle school selected up to three top finalists. Those essays were submitted to a panel for review, and tonight we'll announce the top three winners. The countywide winner will be awarded $500, the runner-up $250, and the honorable mention $100 from Envision Credit Union. All the schools will recognize the finalists with a certificate at their individual convocations later this month. As I call out our winners' names, please join us on stage from the staircase here to receive your award. And don't forget to smile for the camera as our photographer, David Barfield, takes a group photo. Ready? Our honorable mention in the eighth grade essay contest goes to Ziad Salim from Deer Lake Middle School. Ziad, Ziad wrote in his essay, what I admire about volunteering is that in many cases, people think they are going to help others and magically they become the beneficiary. Volunteering can turn into a passion that turns into a profession. Congratulations, Ziad. Our runner-up is Cadence Kimbrough from Fairview Middle School. <laughs> Cadence, Cadence wrote in her essay, bringing joy to others and helping in my community is very important to me. Whether it's smaller tasks, dedicating my free time to help members of my community, or raising money for charity, volunteering, is incredibly special to me. Congratulations, Cadence. <laughs> and
and our best and brightest eighth grade essay contest winner is Ella Dorn from North Florida Christian. Ella wrote in her essay, when you give back to the community you live in, you gain a better understanding of your passions, meet new friends, learn about issues that matter to our society, and receive joy and satisfaction from contributing to others. Congratulations, Ella Dorn from North Florida Christian School. And congratulations to all the students who are finalists here tonight. Middle schoolers, please stand one more time and face the audience as we celebrate you. As a winner from your school, you will be recognized with a certificate at your school's award program. We hope this evening will inspire you to become one of the best and brightest in high school. We'll see you back here in four years. And now for those seniors. Each year the best of the best and brightest awards, the pool of incredible students has grown and the selection process gets harder and harder. Each of the school-based winners here is truly the cream of the crop. Every one of you is a winner, and thanks to the generosity of our sponsors, every school-based winner will receive at least a $100 scholarship. Checks will be available for pickup in the lobby after the ceremony. When your name is called, please come downstage to receive your scholarship check from Dr. Cassandra Grayson from Envision Credit Union and your trophy from William Hatfield with the Tallahassee Democrat. Stay on stage until all the winners in the category are announced and we get a group photo. And don't forget to smile for the camera. Laura will be asking the top winner in each category a question reflecting on their achievements. To assist with the presentation of the beautiful and heavy, I should mention, trophies designed by Awards For You, I'd like to ask Mary Ortega, a retired principal and dedicated best and brightest volunteer, to join us in the presentation of the awards. Now let's announce the 18th annual Best and Brightest Awards Top 45 winners. Everybody take a breath. The Best and Brightest 2023 Award winners in the art category are an honorable mention for Malcolm Gambles II of Rickards High School. Malcolm has served Malcolm has served as a Gadsden Art Center and Museum Teen Art Ambassador for two years, and his work has been on display at the museum. He serves as president of the Rickards High School Anime Club and is also a member of the Art Club. He volunteers with the Reach One Sports Program, supervising and mentoring underprivileged and neurodiverse students through sports, and was Rickards' best defensive player in soccer in 2022. Malcolm volunteered with the MLK Service Day's Willpower Innovation Network and the TCC Eagles Rise Summer Academy. Congratulations, Malcolm. The runner-up in the art category is Satali Patino of Leon High School. Satali is Leon Art Club President and the National Art Honor Society Vice President. They are an active member in the Leon Marching Redcoats Band and has acquired a superior rating at both the district and state level for their solo and ensemble flute choir performance and is in the Triumph Music Honor Society. They have volunteered hundreds of hours at the Leon County Public Library, the City Arts and Crafts Summer Program, and assisting in the production of the Henry Box Brown production in Pensacola. Sitali has their art published in the Leon Mosaic Magazine and received runner-up in the Tallahassee Winter Festival Youth Fine Art Competition. Congratulations, Sitali. <laughs> and the winner in the art category is Jesse Powell of Childs High School.
Jesse is a two-time Mahaska Whitley Student Exhibition General Award winner and winner of the Faculty Choice Annual School Chalk Walk. She has also received honorable mention at the Foster Tanner FAMU Fine Arts Gallery and an honorable mention at the 2022 Youth Fine Art Competition at City Hall Art Gallery. She is involved with Key Club, the Engaged Citizen and Service Learning Class, and the National Honor Society. Jesse has volunteered over 100 hours creating port pillows for cancer patients at TMH, sewing bibs for children at Gretchen Everhart School, and sewing masks during COVID for healthcare workers. Congratulations to all the art category finalists and our, top, and our 2023 top winners tonight. As the winners exit the stage, Laura will meet with Jesse for a quick congratulations and a question. Congratulations, Jesse. So the art category, when people ask you about all the art that you do, what inspires you? Well, I always try to tell people that art is a very emotional thing for most artists. And personally, most of my art is driven not only by my emotions, but most of my surroundings. So whether that be nature or all the people that I know and love, my friends and family, inspiration really just comes from everywhere. Congratulations. The city of Tallahassee is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the athletics category. An honorable mention goes to Esrael Yant of Godby High School. Esrael is captain of the varsity basketball team and has been a star for all four years on the team. He has won multiple awards for his athletic performance and received the Martin Luther King Jr. Dreamer and Doer Award, the National Society of Leadership and Success, and the National Society of High School Scholars. He is a member of Youth Leadership Tallahassee Class 18, the National Honor Society, and a Distinguished Young Gentleman of America. Esrael volunteered with the Direct Auto Exchange Community Outreach, coached at middle school basketball games, and is a dual enrolled student at Tallahassee Community College. Congratulations, Esrael. The runner up in the athletic category is Wyatt Townsend from Childs High School. Wyatt is a three-time athlete participating in varsity swim and dive, track and field, and serves as captain of the cross country team. He placed sixth at the track and field state championship in the 3200 meter race, received the team Alpha Wolf Leadership Award, and is co-founder of the Chess Club. He volunteers with Random Acts of Kindness Club, the South City Foundation on Nutrition and Exercise Positive Sessions for Underprivileged Youth, and Youth Leadership Tallahassee Class 18. Wyatt devotes hundreds of hours at swim meets, motivating youth at the South City Multisport Complex to become engaged with the athletic community of Tallahassee. Congratulations, Wyatt. And the winner of the athletic category is Jasani J. Beecham of Florida State University Schools. Jay is a Big Ben Softball Player of the Year and is on the 2022 All Big Ben First Team. She's a member of the National Honor Society, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and the Renegades Club. She is the Florida High Varsity Softball MVP, winner of the 2021 Offensive Award, and winner of the All-Tournament Team in Dothan, Alabama. Jay prepared meals for the ARC Homeless Shelter, tutored at the Boys and Girls Club, raised funds for Pet Alliance, and assisted with helping incarcerated individuals get their GED at the Florida Department of Corrections. Congratulations, Jay. We're gonna take a picture and then congratulate, congratulate all the winners as Jay goes to answer a question from Laura.
Congratulations, Jay. We're so proud of you. So not only are you an athlete, you're also a leader and an academic. So what advice can you give a young person that will be coming into school on how to be able to get involved with athletics? Um, so with me being a younger athlete before, um, going back, remembering things, you know, with the college rules, you know, you can't get recruited until like your junior year. So it's a lot of worrying going on. Um, but the one thing I can say, if you're a younger athlete, just be present, try to be where your feet are. If you're in the classroom, focus on your studies. If you're on the field, you know, do your best there. If you're doing community work, focus on that. So just be present and just know that your parents and your family is your biggest supporters and that you're very loved. Congratulations, Jay. Walmart is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the business category. An honorable mention in the business category goes to Julia Zhu with Childs High School. <laughs> Julia, Julia has created her own baking business, Julia Can Bake, and has over 9 million views on her TikTok account. She is co-captain of the varsity tennis team with the highest GPA and represented the state of Florida at the Congress of Future Medical Leaders. She's a National Merit semifinalist, president of the National Honor Society, and member of the English Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, and the Spanish Honor Society. Julia is chairperson and ambassador with Youth Health Leadership Tallahassee, is active with Volunteer Leon at the Public Library, and service project chair with the Red Cross Club. Congratulations, Julia. And the runner-up in the business category is Lucille Lucy Whitehead of McClay School. Lucy owns her own cooking service, Lucy's Kitchen, where she cooks gourmet three-course meals and weekly meal prep. She is a McClay Student Ambassador on the Leadership Council, Vice President of the Student United Way, President of the Junior Classical League. She is a member of the National Honor Society, Tallahassee Youth Orchestra, and President of the McClay Book Club. Lucy has been recognized with the Lomax Teal Award for Outstanding Junior, the College Board's National African American Recognition Program, and volunteers at the Big Bend Homeless Coalition. Congratulations, Lucy. And the winner in the business category is Kaylin Jean-Louis of Florida State University Schools. Kaylin is founder and CEO of her business, Kaylin's Caring Connection, whose mission is to support children and single parent families and who's helped to raise $4,500 to supply them with backpacks, toys, food, and gift cards. She's a She's the Boss honoree from the She Academy, is a Tallahassee Democrat Five Young Women to Watch, and was named the Capital Outlook's Young Entrepreneur of the Year. She is a member of Future Business Leaders of America, Spanish Honor Society, and the Junior League of Tallahassee Teen Board. She sits on the Youth Advisory Board for the Geeks and Gramps program, has her own radio show and podcast. Kaylin serves as the president of the Tallahassee Police Youth Citizens Advisory Council, the Junior League of Tallahassee Teen Board, and is the youth president of the Life Changers Church of Christ and chapter president of the Florida High Future Business Leaders of America. Congratulations to Kaylin and all the business category finalists. Congratulations, Kayla. So in the business world, the businesses really do like to be able to involve people in the community service, as we see from many of the businesses helping here today. What have you learned from what you've done now that you would be able to um, help succeed in the, the business world? 
While I've learned many lessons in the business world, I think the top three things I would tell to others is that through community service, one, you learn determination to continue to keep pushing because when you're able to give back, you see that your difference is actually making an impact in others' lives. My second thing I would say is if your heart is truly in it, then your outreach will be greater. And when you are in business, it is really important that you make sure you lead with your passion. And number three, in the business world, I've learned that as long as you make connections and you truly are there for your community, you will succeed. Congratulations. Career Source Florida is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the career technical category. An honorable mention goes to Thunmay Haldia of Rickards High School. <clears throat> Thunmay has earned several awards in computing Olympiads for programming, including first place with his team at the National Algorithms Competition. He is in the Florida State University Young Scholars Program, where he designed algorithms to control robotic arm movement for the elderly and disabled. He is a two-time American Invitational National Mathematics Examination Qualifier, is Vice President of Rickards Mu Alpha Theta, and Secretary of the Florida Association. Thunmay is the co-founder of Viral Tech, a peer-to-peer tuition-free tutoring network, President of the Programming Club, and co-director of the Rickards Invitational, hosting 800 students. Congratulations, Thunmay. And the runner-up in the career category is Julian Berrios of Leon High School. Julian has received the National Registry of Food Safety Professionals Manager Certification, competes in a statewide culinary competition, and has prepared large banquets through the Leon Culinary Arts Program. He was awarded the American Legion Award for Scholastic Excellence and the President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence. He is the Outstanding Cadet Leadership Award recipient and was also presented with the College Board Hispanic Recognition Award. Julian is the battalion commander for the JROTC with responsibility for discipline of all cadets. He tutors math at Cobb Middle School and assists teachers with curriculum and classroom organization. Congratulations, Julian. And the winner of the career technical category is Heaven Ward of McClay School. Kevin is a teaching assistant in the Academic Resource Center as head tutor and manager. She tutors English and math in Quincy with immigrant families and also leads a freshman student overnight retreat as a McClay student ambassador and counselor. She is a varsity weightlifting and track and field competitor, recipient of the American Youth Foundation National Leadership Award, and is the Glee Club fundraising chair. She was recently named student of the semester, is the English department teaching assistant in the MARC program, and a member of the Mu Alpha Theta and Spanish Honor Societies. Congratulations to Heaven and all of the career technical category winners. Congratulations, Heaven. So the career category is a lot of careers are being taught in schools now, and that is a great future. So what have you been able to learn in school that you think you're going to be able to apply, that everyone can apply in their careers? I think one of the best things I've learned at McClay that you can apply to any career and just to your life in general is to learn how to build responsibility, perseverance, and grace. You need all three to, su to succeed and have balance in your life. Responsibility, I learned, is not something that can just be a liability, but such an asset to you. You need to have grace for yourself as you go through your journey through life and know that there are steps that you may take forward and backward, but regardless, they're all worth it. 
And I think that perseverance is good because none of us are 100% 24-7, but having perseverance is ambition and determination, and those things will take you very far. Congratulations, Evan. Ron Sachs and Gay Webster Sachs are proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the drama category. They are an honorable mention to Elspeth Ann Abbott of Florida State University Schools. <laughs> Elspeth Ann is a featured dancer in many of the school performances and is active in the Florida High Chorus. She has received numerous diamond and platinum awards in dance competition and first place at nationals. She volunteers at the Quincy Music Theater and Young Actors Theater. She helps Conley Elementary School ESE students, is a certified Zumba instructor for the teachers, and is a certified nursing assistant on the TCC president's list. Elspeth Ann is a Girl Scout, a four-year member of the Student Astronaut Challenge, and the National Honor Society president, and a camp surfing counselor for children. Congratulations, Elspeth Ann. The runner-up in the drama category is Merrill Webster of McClay School. <laughs> Merrill is a Tallahassee Dance Academy principal dancer and received Best Technical Execution and Team Choice Awards. She is in National French Honor Society, the Quill and Scroll Journalism Honor Society, Key Club, and is a student ambassador. She is print editor-in-chief of the McClay newspaper and their member of the year. She's also the co-sponsorship chair of Dance Marathon. Merrill has volunteered over 250 hours with the Springtime Tallahassee Bells and Gents organization where she is Miss Congeniality. And she is an assistant teacher at a dance camp for two summers with kindergartners and first graders. Congratulations, Merrill. And the winner in the drama category is Jenna John of Rickards High School. <laughs> Jenna is the lead student director of the Pangea Cultural Festival and choreographed and performed in a K-pop dance group. As a violinist and pianist, she has volunteered at educational and charity events and is the Tallahassee Korean Baptist Church Youth worship leader and event coordinator. She's a QuestBridge National College match recipient, National Honor Society president, president of Rickards Model United Nations team, and class director of Key Club. Jenna participated in over 400 hours in teen court and received the Distinguished Service and Leadership Awards. She is a student producer of WFSU's 411 teen and an assistant teacher and volunteer with the Tallahassee Korean Language School. Congratulations to Jenna and all of the drama winners. Congratulations, Jenna. So it takes an incredible amount of work that obviously you have done in performance and in the different type of arts. So what advice can you give the students that want to keep up with their studies, keep involved, and still be dynamic on the stage? I think the biggest um, obstacle that students face when they're wanting to um, pursue or get involved in drama and performing arts or any of the other arts um, is the time commitment. I know when I first told my parents that I wanted to um, be a part of my first drama production, they asked me, are you sure? Because I had a lot of other stuff going on. But I think it's important for students, but also for parents to understand that you don't just learn how to sing and dance on the stage. You learn how to time manage. And you also learn a lot of um, crucial skills, um, which I think would be communication and collaborating with the other students and um, producers that you're working with. So just go for it, and it'll all work out. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Congratulations. Saks Media is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the English and Language Arts category. The honorable mention goes to Leah Pagan of Lincoln High School. <laughs> Leah has received top scores on AP English language composition exams along with five other AP exams. She is a national recognition scholar, received the Principal's Award each year, and is a competitive dancer getting double platinum and platinum on solo and group dance. She is a counselor at Swift, Swift Creek Middle School Science Camp and volunteers at the Advent Day Parish and Killarne Sunshine Academy during the summer. Leah has interned twice for the Tallahassee Writers Association and created a workshop for developing songwriting through poetry. Congratulations, Leah. The runner-up in the English and Language Arts category is Emily Taylor of Rickards High School. <laughs> Emily created and led the Creative Writing Club at Rickards, which published a book of writings during COVID. She was a varsity swimmer for two years and is attending Tallahassee Community College's dual enrollment, pro oh, sorry, enrollment program with her writings to appear in their literary magazine. She is a Girl Scout and has volunteered her artistic talents to the Gadsden Art Museum where they displayed her work and she has helped build bunk beds with Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Emily is part of the Latin Club and received state awards in regional models and impromptu art and she has assisted counselors over the summer at MOLAB camp on STEM and art activities. Congratulations, Emily. And the winner of the English and Language Arts category is Camille Rasavage of Leon High School. <clears throat> Camille is an AP scholar with distinction, is active in the National English Honor Society, and published a blog on her mission experiences with Education Equals Hope organization. She is a member of Youth Leadership Tallahassee Class 18, a co-leader of the Leon versus Cancer fundraiser, raising more than $436,000 for the Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare Cancer Center. She is Interact Service Club President, Pieria National Honor Society Treasurer, Community Service Committee Head of Leon Student Government Association, and is involved with global phil philanthropy leaders. Camille founded and led the Big Event Junior by organizing students to volunteer a day of service in the community to local nonprofits. Congratulations, Camille, and all the winners. Congratulations, Camille. Okay, and all this world of TikTok and Twitter and Instagram and all those social medias. Why do you think it's important for young people to continue to read and to write and work on their skills? Um, while social media is very powerful, I don't think it compares to the power of the English language and what it can accomplish, especially for good. Um, I believe that reading books encourages people to form their own individual opinions rather than blindly following others or saying on TikTok and Twitter and all those social media platforms. Uh, additionally, I think that having good writing skills facilitates um, good communication, which can foster closer communities and just better relationships. Congratulations. The Tallahassee Democrat is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the journalism category. An honorable mention goes to Robert R.J. Jose of McClay School. RJ worked as the sports editor, business manager, and is now the online editor-in-chief of the school newspaper. He is a scholar athlete and captain of the soccer team with a federation referee license and was ranked seventh in the state in his junior year in snatch weightlifting. 
He is a member of the Science National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Key Club, and the Quill and Scroll International Honor Society for Journalists. RJ volunteered as a Maclay ambassador and was instrumental in the newspaper receiving recognition by the Florida Scholastic Press Association with the All Florida Award. Congratulations, RJ. The runner-up in the journalism category is Shania Brown of Godby High School. <laughs> Shania is the chief editor for the Godby Yearbook and treasurer for the National Honor Society. She serves as senior class representative on the Student Government Association and volunteered with The Longest Table. She filled two, filmed 200 hours of the girls' basketball team and the football team for the coaches' footage review and game improvement. As team captain, Shania contacted a Tallahassee Democrat journalist to highlight the need for support for the Godby swim team and saw the impact of public storytelling with the team receiving $10,000 in donations from the community. Congratulations, Shania. And the winner in the journalism category is Kristen Hood of FAMU. Kristen is a four-year staff member of the yearbook and is Adobe Photoshop certified. She is active in the school theater and performing arts program, president of the Beta Club, and a Comcast Rule Your Future STEAM Symposium delegate. She is a Tallahassee Future Leaders Academy student at the FAMU School of Journalism and Graphic Communication and is a battalion commander of the Junior Officer Training Corps. Kristen is president of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority uh, Youth Empowerment Summit, President of the FAMU uh, Developmental Research School Future Farmers of America Chapter, Member of Youth Leadership Tallahassee Class 18, and Co-Secretary of the Cultivating Queens Service Organization. Congra congratulations, Kristen, and all of the winners. As we listen to It's a Wonderful World. Congratulations, Kristen. So there's so much going on in the world. If you were going to do some research and publicize different ideas on what's going on, where would you want to do it? As a journalist, I have a passion to highlight not only black stories, but stories that investigate education and education reform. Congratulations. Thank you. Ferry and Associates is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the leadership category. An honorable mention goes to Catherine Katie Roth of Sale High School. <laughs> Katie is a member of the Student Government Association and serves as head of the Fundraising and Community Outreach Committee. She is on the honor roll and a medallion award recipient for outstanding citizenship and is a peer mentor for the Barrier Busters Club. She partnered with the National Alliance on Mental Illness to provide resources for students and re uh, represented sale on WFSU's 411 radio program. Katie founded the school's Random Act of Kindness Club and organized student volunteers for many nonprofits in the community. Congratulations, Katie. The runner-up in the leadership category is Nia Terry of Florida State University Schools. <laughs> Nia has been awarded the MLK Dreamers and Doers, is on the academic high honor roll for four consecutive years, serves as president of Building Incredible Generations, and launched the school's first black history program. 
She's a member of the Student Council, National Spanish Honor Society, MagLab Youth Advisory Council, and a member of the varsity soccer team. She is a member of Youth Leadership Tallahassee Class 18, that was quite a class, and the Leadership Council for Peace Jam. Nia has volunteered over 700 hours to all these school and nonprofit organizations and is one of the Tallahassee Democrats' five young women to watch. Congratulations, Nia. And the winner of the leadership category is Amaya Wayman of Rickards High School. Amaya is an active member of the National Honor Society, Student Government Association President, Black History Brain Bowl, National Achievers Society, and the United Way Student Board President. She created the Girl Flow Project to address period product inequality and received recognition from the Leon County School Board and a proclamation for her service from the Leon County Board of County Commissioners. She is a Girl Scout Gold Award recipient, a member of Youth Leadership Tallahassee Class 18, and an Oasis Center for Women and Girls Youth Board member. Amaya has dedicated over 1,000 hours in those schools, uh, school clubs and also with Teen Court, Zeta Youth Auxiliaries, and the Florida House of Representatives PAGE program and is the 2023 Miss Black USA Florida Talented Teen. Congratulations. Congratulations. So it takes a lot of small steps to get a big goal accomplished. What motivates you to create the change and make a difference in our school and our community? I'm motivated to create change because I know how to impact others, but not so much just impact others, but inspire others. But most importantly, I've learned to be motivated to create change in the classroom, in the community, but always doing it with the right character. Thank you. Congratulations, Amaya. Hub International is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the mathematics category. An honorable mention goes to Rachel Bethke of McClay School. <laughs> Rachel is unable to be here tonight uh, because she is competing in the state track meet. But let's hear a little bit about Rachel's involvement anyway. She is captain of the only competing all-female student astronaut challenge and serves on the Student Council and Computer Science National Honor Society. She is on the McClay Volleyball All-Academic Team, was an all-Big Ben first-team sprinter last year, and placed seventh in the National Junior Olympic 400-meter race. She is the online manager of McClay's Notes from the Underground Literary Journal and writes code for their website. Rachel volunteers as a referee at volleyball tournaments in Florida and Georgia and serves as an accolade at St. Peter's Anglican Cathedral. Uh, we wish Rachel another championship at state tonight. The runner up in the mathematics category is Wesley Chen of Childs High School. Wesley is a five-time American Invitational Mathematics Examination Qualifier and is Secretary of the Coding Club. He is a National Merit Semifinalist and placed in several regional and state math competitions and serves as President of Mu Alpha Theta and sec Secretary of the Inter-Club Council. He plays Florida Elite Club Soccer and participated in the 2022 Young Scholars Science and Math Programs at FSU's College of Engineering. Wesley helped organize the Child's Mini Moo competition and tutors students each week and is also an instructor at Mathnasium. Congratulations, Wesley. <laughs> and the winner in the mathematics category is Karthik Vadula of Rickards <laughs> High School.
Karthik placed third in the nation in the 2022 Harvard-MIT math tournament in the geometry division and seventh overall. He was second in the nation in the USA Math Olympiad. He presented research at the 2023 Joint Mathematical Meeting and writes questions as the head organizer for the Rickards Invitational. He is president of the Florida Student Association of Mathematics, Rickards Mu Alpha Theta, and the Language and Ling Linguistics Club, and is vice president of the Programming Club. Karthik taught classes to middle school students in Saudi Arabia as a certified teacher for daily challenge teaching and volunteers with Fairview Middle School students as well as tutoring students at Rickards. Congratulations to Karthik and all the winners. Congratulations, Karthik. So, math, that's always a fun one. <laughs> so, why do you think math is important? But, importantly, also, is how are you going to help the struggling students? Yeah, so math is prevalent in almost every single field, whether it's architecture or desi design or any science, really, like uh, physics, biology, and so on. And that's why math is so useful and it's worth learning math, wh whichever profession you decide, decide to go into. And as for the second part of the question of how do you help struggling students, well, one, one way is to really encourage them to ask questions because asking questions is the best form and most instructive form of learning because uh, when you ask questions, you learn more about your weaknesses and you can turn those into your strengths. Great, thank you. The best and brightest 2023 award winners in the music category are an honorable mention to Jelana Edwards of Godby yeah. High School. Yeah. Jelana was awarded best sophomore in band as the co-section leader for trumpet and rose to drum major her junior and senior years. She is a multiple AB honor roll achiever is Autodesk certified and received her certification in phlebotomy at Lively Technical College. She has earned five superior medals for solo and ensemble performances and was invited to sit in the All State Honor Band. Jelana has volunteered 100 hours with the God B Band Camp, teaching students how to play their instruments, learn marching concepts, and teaching the band techniques at a leadership camp. Congratulations, Jelana. The runner-up in the music category is Emma Rogers of Leon High School. <laughs> Emma is a member of Leon's concert, symphonic, and jazz bands playing the flute, clarinet, and trumpet. She has received straight superiors in state symphonic band competitions and is a member of Leon's nationally ranked symphonic band. She is the tri-music chapter of the National Music Honor Society and is the senior drum major for the Marching Redcoats, representing the band in all official capacities. Emma is a founding member of the National MagLab Youth Advisory Board and volunteered as a MoLab camp counselor in training. Congratulations, Emma. <laughs> and the winner of the music category is Brandon Bordeaux of Childs High School. Brandon has been awarded the most outstanding musician every year at Childs and serves as historian for the band. He is certified in media production and photo and video editing and uses this skill with his musical endeavors. He has performed for thousands of people in parades, in theater pits, and for children in elementary and middle schools. He is the principal horn player in the Tallahassee Youth Symphony uh, and serves on their student board. He is learning the cello and orchestra to further his career as a music teacher. Brandon is the child's head drum major, committing over 200 hours instructing the band as their student leader. Congratulations, Brandon, and all of the winners.
Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Give us some ideas of why you think it is so important to include music in our extracurricular activities and our academics and our learning pleasure. Well, I think we all know the answer to that question and sitting right here at the piano. We wouldn't have an event. I've never been to an event where there's, a, during an applause, there's a piano playing, which by the way, takes so much skill to time it with the start and the stop. Very great piano player and you deserve recognition. Congratulations. Well, one other thing is that in this world, there's a lot of hardships um, politically and socially and things of that nature, but music is the one thing that can bring the whole world together of all genders, ages, and all of that nature. So I think music is important for everybody so it can bring everyone together. Wonderful, thank you. The best and brightest 2023 award winners in the public speaking category are an honorable mention to Mary Grace Slimp of Community Christian School. Mary Grace has been on the principals list for every semester of her high school career. She was on the golf team in the National Honor Society, and her outreach ministry has been to serve locally, as well as doing mission work in South Dakota. Her junior year, she was awarded the Honor Citation for Extraordinary Performance of an Honorable Act, which is given out annually to one student. Mary Grace has volunteered over 150 hours at the Seminole Baptist Church as their ch uh, children's leader and the Youth Girls Bible Study Leader, and 200 hours operating the cameras to stream services during the COVID shutdown. Congratulations, Mary Grace. The runner-up in the public speaking category is Lauren Price of McClay School. Lauren has a letter of commendation from the National Merit Scholars and is a National Honor Society member. She is editor of McClay's Notes from the Underground Literary Journal, concert band student director, jazz band director, music club president, and the Glee Club vice president. She served as a student ambassador for McClay and volunteered 180 hours for dance marathon at FSU with speaking engagements and activities. As a childhood cancer survivor, Lauren's new role as champion for the Children's Miracle Network at Shands Hospital has her traveling the state and sharing her story to help, help raise funds for the program. Congratulations, Lauren. <clears throat> and the winner of the public speaking category is Shubham Dixit of Rickards High School. Shubham is founder and president of the Speech and Debate Club and president and captain of the Brain Bowl Club as a four-time national quiz tournament championship qualifier. He was captain of the swim team and a two-time state champion finalist. He is self-taught in sign language to communicate better with deaf friends and made videos as a motivational speaker on teen well-being. He won first place in Florida for the Jim Moran College of Entrepreneurship startup pitch and was an outstanding delegate in the Model United Nations and Boys State, and served as City Commissioner Rick Miner's summer youth intern. Shubham volunteered hundreds of hours at his Hindu temple for weekly help on the communication systems and leading prayers. He served with the India Association of Tallahassee on cultural programming and organizing a citywide annual quiz competition. Congratulations, Shubham, and all of the winners. Congratulations. Number one fear, public speaking. How have you overcome it and can you give any tips? You know, it's really uh, funny. My friends and I were talking about this before and it'd be really ironic if I messed this up. <laughs> um, but, um, okay, I'll give you two tips. One is slightly less serious and one is serious. The, the slightly less serious tip would be to drink some water, which I have not done. 
So my throat is really parched right now, and the act of licking your lips 30 times does not really help. <laughs> um, and the second, uh, which is a serious tip, um, and I'd like to start with a quote from Mark Twain, and he said there's two types of speakers in this world. There's the nervous, and then there's the liars. Everyone is nervous, and I can confidently affirm that's true. Um, in order to speak effectively, you need to become one with your audience. And I know that sounds like a really zen meditation type of technique. That's not true. That's what you have to do here. You're not the one speaking. The audience is the one that wants to hear you speak. You need to accustom your audience. You got to speak to what your audience is actually interested in. And that means reading the room. And by reading the room, I can tell you that in around 10 seconds, you guys will start to become bored. Um, so I'm going to start and uh, end right here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the science and health category. An honorable mention goes to Ann Osterhaus of Leon High School. <laughs> Anne is an AP scholar with distinction and attended the FSU College of Medicine Stride Summer Institute program, receiving the Heart Race Award. She's a National Merit Semifinalist, president of Mu Alpha Theta Honor Society, historian of the Science National Honor Society, the Latin Club, and is a city lifeguard. She volunteers at St. Peter's Anglican Cathedral, Young Life, and the Interact Club and Lions United. Anne was an instrumental leader for four years of Leon's Dance Marathon and as morale captain and part of the team to win the National Award for Best Marathon. Congratulations, Anne. And the runner-up in the science and health category is Cyrus Nadezade of Childs High School. Cyrus is Vice President of Mu Alpha Theta, President of Science Olympiad, and the Pre-Med Club. He's a four-year member and recent captain of the state champion swim team and recipient of the 2022 Rural and Small Town Recognition Award. He is a National Merit Commended Scholar, three-time American International Math Exam Qualifier, and co-director of Helping Hand Tutoring. Cyrus co-founded the Alzheimer's and Dementia Awareness Club and was selected to assist in the Wilbur Lab at FSU's psychology department. He applied his knowledge from there to volunteer at the Azalea Memory Center. Congratulations, Cyrus. And the winner in the science and health category is Ariba Ahmed of Rickards High School. Ariba earned certification as a nursing assistant and was selected as a member of the executive board of the National Youth Advisory Board for the Harvard Graduate School's Making Care Common Research Group. She is a member of Summa Cum Laude Society, vice president of Students Working Against Tobacco, a woman in STEM mentor, medalist in many science Olympiad events, and is a 2022 poetry contest winner. She designed a course, Food for Thought, where she mentors over 300 hours at Fairview Middle School, held a book drive at Palmer Monroe Teen Center, and a clothing drive for disadvantaged youth. Ariba co-founded the Culture and Humanities Club and the Kindness Squad. She has dedicated over 1,000 hours during high school with dance marathon, English tutoring during COVID, Key Club, American Red Cross, and the Youth Health Leadership Program. Congratulations to Ariba and all of the winners. Congratulations. <laughs> so the world of science surrounds itself with research and discovery and lots and lots of trying to find out the quest of the knowledge of how to solve something. So is there a particular focus that you want to pursue in medicine? 
Yeah, for sure. So in my community and the work that I've done, I've noticed that there are extreme barriers and disparities that are inherent in our healthcare system, specifically in Tallahassee. And so in, in pursuing medicine, I'd like to be able to provide patients with care no matter what their needs are and no matter where, what resources they have available to them um, and do so in a compassionate, patient-centered way. Thank you. Leon County government is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the social science category. An honorable mention goes to Kalia Pearson of FAMU. Kalia excelled in every social science course offered at FAMU Developmental Research School, all while holding a managerial job outside school hours. She is active with Student Government Association, is captain of the cheerleading squad, and serves on the school-wide Black History Bowl team. She was selected queen of the orange and green, the May Day representative, and the cheerleading representative of the homecoming court. Kalia created PSAs to educate teens working over the summer and helped organize the Black History Month program for three years straight. Congratulations, Kalia. And the runner up in the social science category is Alyssa Malaszewski of Lincoln High School. Alyssa is Lincoln's mock trial team leader, an AP scholar with distinction, recipient of the Principal's Award for three years, and the National Honor Society. She is the Varsity Cheer Senior Leader, the Key Club Treasurer, and the Chorus Leadership Historian, Social Media Manager, and Event Manager. She served as Historian and Parliamentarian of the Latin Club, receiving a gold medal in the Summa Cum Laude National Latin Exam, and multiple regional and state awards. Alyssa organized a service project at the Kearney Center, volunteered to renovate a community center in New Orleans with Good Shepherd Church as the Youth Leadership Team Group. Congratulations, Alyssa. And the winner of the social science category is Danny Alex of Rickards High School. Danny is an AP scholar with distinction, a member of the National Honor Society, and was the closing ceremony speaker at the Student Science Training Program at the University of Florida. He is co-captain of the varsity tennis team and state doubles quarterfinalist, and he's the co-president of the speech and debate team. He was the junior rep representative in Model United Nations with verbal commendations, and is the chemistry captain in the Science Olympiad, receiving rankings in state and national competitions. Danny has volunteered 250 hours through the Malayali Association of Tallahassee and has served as the MC at uh, functions celebrating the traditions of India. He also helped with over 150 hours organizing a program to connect seniors during COVID for elder care services. Congratulations, Danny, and all of the winners. Congratulations, Danny. So, the government the media has put a lot of emphasis on STEM. So, you have won in the social sciences. Can you give us some ideas of how we can still keep the emphasis on the social sciences for the future? Of course, I mean, today it's obvious that STEM is very prevalent in our society. As an aspiring physician, like these fields are so important to understand. However, we must continue, you know, researching the social sciences because it's the people in this world that make it go round. And so in order to shape a better future for all of us, we must continue to research the complex issues that are prevalent in our society. Thank you. Congratulations.
Comcast is proud to recognize the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the technology category. An honorable mention goes to Jackson Cockcamp of McClay School. Jackson founded the McClay Film School and served as a production assistant on two FSU College of Motion Picture Arts student productions. He is active with the Quill and Scroll International Honor Society, the Spanish Honor Society, and the Cum Laude Society. He is a student ambassador, a summer camp counselor, a JV basketball player, and a group leader of fellowship of Christ Christian athletes. Jackson has volunteered over 80 hours at McClay, live streaming events, and created short advertisements for the citizens for responsible spending. He is in the Key Club and is a talented artist and vocalist. Congratulations, Jackson. The runner-up in the technology category is Grace Tran of Leon High School. Grace taught herself how to use 3D print files and TickerCAD software by designing formulas and creating codes to build model objects, and she externed at the National Mag Lab. She is president and a top winner in the state French comp competition, winner of the 2021 Florida Housing Statewide Art Contest, Interact member and co-founder of Leon's Health and Wellness Club. She is an academic athlete on the golf team, a capstone scholar educating students on skin cancer prevention, and is active as a Good Shepherd life teen leader and with Leon's Student Government Association. Grace designed the winning Rotary Club commemorative pin competition. She is a Girl Scout Gold Award recipient for service over 10 years and is a winner of the Boletnikov Scholarship Award. Congratulations, Grace. And the winner of the technology category is Shruti Sentil of Rickards High School. Shruti was one of the 93 students worldwide in the prestigious MIT Research Science Institute internship. She is a student intern and web developer with the University of Florida Plant Pathology Department. She is active with STEM for Girls, a co-founder of the Fairview Math Camps, and received numerous awards in national and international science and engineering competitions in robotics and plant health research. She is the 2021 winner in the Florida 2nd Congressional District Professional App Challenge and is active in school with the Leon County Student District Advisory Council, Key Club, and Peace Jam. Shruti is founder and executive director of Buddy Knit Nonprofit that establishes peer relationships between middle, high, and college students with Title I schools. She has raised $25,000 for STEM projects and mentorship and expanding a Buddy Knit chapter in Pensacola's school district. Congratulations to Shruti and all of the technology winners. Congratulations, come on over here. <laughs> so technology has really changed a lot, from my generation and now to your generation. So what do you think the future is gonna take with um, how's technology gonna be for the next generation? So we all know that the future of technology is AI, but many of us think of it as some demonic force that's sort of threatening our jobs. But in reality, AI has the power to gleam insights from human knowledge and things that we've discovered on our own, democratizing that knowledge for those where there's less access to the sort of subject matter expertise. And I think that AI would really benefit us in raising the baseline for where our accomplishments can stem from and especially impact those in grassroots areas. Thank you. Congratulations.
And finally, the best and brightest 2023 award winners in the world language category are an honorable mention to Teresa Morgado of McClay School. <laughs> Teresa is a gold level winner on the National Latin Exam and placed second in the Junior Classical League State Forum in Advanced Latin Vocabulary. For three summers, she volunteered in Portugal, collecting excess food donations to distribute to 50 families. Back at home, she promoted food drives through McClay's Student United Way as their chair. She is a national merit semifinalist and a member of the National Spanish Recognition Program, National Science Honor Society, and founder of the Science Olympiad team. Teresa has volunteered over 200 hours through the Multicultural Awareness Club, performed in theater and children's choruses, and served as president of the student council. Congratulations, Teresa. And the runner up in the world languages category is Ryan Williams of Leon High School. Ryan has completed three years of study of the Chinese language and enjoys mentoring students through the National Honor Society. As a varsity volleyball player, she received the Scholar Athlete Award for three years and was recommended for the AP Capstone Program. She is a National African American Recognition Scholar and a Tri-M Music Honor Society active member of the Melodier's Advanced Chorus. Ryan has volunteered over 230 hours refereeing for volleyball tournaments and learned life-saving skills through the FSU College of Medicine Summer Institute program. Congratulations, Ryan. And the winner in the world languages category is Colleen Bryn Sintron of Childs High School. Bryn is the Child's 2022 AP World Language Department Award winner with courses in Latin and Spanish. She's a principal dancer in the Pas de Vie Ballet Company, and as a recipient of the Seal of Biliteracy, she's used her skills as a translator while attending the Orlando and Sarasota Ballet Initiative intensives during the summers. She is a Model United Nations board member, co-president of the Spanish National Honor Society, and vice president of the Interact Club. Bryn has volunteered over 400 hours helping translate and tutor Spanish, helped at the Kearney Center, and performed for the community as an AP Scholar with Distinction. Congratulations to Bryn and all of the winners. Congratulations, Bren. People study different languages for many reasons. Why did you select Spanish? And can you tell us um, some opportunities that it has been given to you by that? So my dad grew up in Puerto Rico, so I grew up speaking Spanish fluently and wanted to deepen my understanding of the language. And doing so has given me the opportunity to connect with the local school and global communities through community service and the performing arts. Congratulations. I would like to ask all of the best and brightest students on stage to stand up as we congratulate you one more time for your four years of study and involvement. We know the best is yet to come for you. Please take your seats. And now I would like to ask Sam Rogers with the Best and Brightest Committee to join his wife, Laura, on stage. Right behind you. Well, we've kind of come to the end, but we've got a couple more left, including a big one here. 
Um, over the last 18 years, the best and the brightest has recognized over 2,579 high school seniors, some of which are sitting here on stage and others are out in life and college. Um, all of these students reflect a solid academic achievement, leadership, with a special emphasis on community service. For the past 12 years, an additional award was presented on top of the winners who truly exemplified the spirit of the best and brightest through their deep commitment to community service and civic duty. This award is to honor our son, Brooks Rogers, who tragically lost his life in an automobile accident. His commitment to community service and his passion for life exemplifies the, the spirit in the best and the brightest. Because of the generosity of the Tallahassee community, after his death, a scholarship fund was established to benefit the best and the brightest recipients. This recognition has been an exciting culmination of the awards program with a $2,500 scholarship awarded to the person and student who exemplifies that spirit. The winner is selected among the 45 honorable mentions, runners-ups, and winners in each category. The recipient of the spirit of the best and brightest truly exemplifies what it means to have passion for service and giving back to the community. So let's talk a little bit about our winner this year. This person has maintained their academic excellence over the past four years and has maintained a 4.0 in studies, even with remote learning. They have engaged in community outreach that directly impacts the homeless, the hungry, the poor, veterans, young women, and girls. This person was a leader on her school's Student Government Council, a member of Youth Leadership Tallahassee, an active member on at least seven boards, and an advocate for women's health. She has raised over $20,000 and spent over 900 hours in her high school years putting together donated items and care packages for a program she founded. This year's winner of the Spirit of the Best and Brightest exemplifies wisdom far beyond her years. She says, I want others to know that they can be bold and bright. It's important to know that you can accomplish anything in the community despite the odds. The A in Amaya stands for accomplishing goals, and the winner is Amaya Wayman. Congratulations. Wait, there's more. Because our students are so generous with their talents and time, we have an additional recognition for the spirit winner. Will Josie Tamayo, Chief Executive Officer of Volunteer Florida, please join us on stage. Hi there. And thank you, everyone, and what a wonderful evening. And it is really an honor and a privilege to be here as CEO of Volunteer Florida to see all these wonderful students that are engaged in our community to make the lives of all our Floridians better. And I will tell you, it takes a moment to be in service. It takes a lifetime to complete it. And it is that service that we continue on every day. So as you know, Volunteer Florida is the state Florida's lead agency for national service, and volunteerism, promoting service as a solution to some of our community's most critical issues and needs. The Volunteer Florida team, which I am most privileged to lead, seizes opportunities to recognize those who selflessly dedicate their time and talents 
to help their communities, the bold change makers who stand up and step out for causes they believe in, those who are making Florida, our Florida, a better place to live, work, raise a family, and be more resilient. Clearly, all the students in this room embody the highest level of community and civic engagement, most especially Amaya Wayman. In the past four years alone, Amaya has performed more than 900 hours of service to our local community, 900 hours she could have spent in any other way, 900 hours she could have spent living her best life in high school, and she committed them to the service of others. She's volunteered through Zeta Youth Auxiliaries, the National Achievers Society, Teen Court, Oasis Center for Women and Girls, the Girl Scouts, I'm a former Girl Scout, so awesome, and founded her own nonprofit to facilitate donations and address per period poverty with the Girl Flow Project. Amaya is actively improving the lives of those around her while learning new skills, gaining experiences, and enriching her whole life by advocating on the local and state level for those in need. She is an inspiration of volunteerism and civic responsibility. On behalf of Volunteer Florida, I am thrilled to present to Amaya the Volunteer Florida Excellence in Volunteerism Award in honor of her outstanding and exemplary service. Congratulations, Amaya. Thank you. There you go, my dear. As we close tonight, I want to say a special thank you to Laura Rogers, who has been the heart of the Best and Brightest program for 18 years now, and just want to Thanks. thank you. Well done. Well done. Thank you all for attending tonight's special 18th anniversary celebration of the Best and Brightest. The awards are now as old as many of you on stage. And to add to the excitement of this evening, we uh, have for you an early edition of the full color 64 page insert from the Tallahassee Democrat, which will be included in tomorrow's newspaper, including everyone with a subscription and all the, the rack sales. This is a commem commemorative printing highlighting all the finalists with articles about the top winners. Please get a few copies from the volunteers at the doors on your way outside of Westcott Fountain. Also, middle school principals can pick up their school's certificates for their finalists at the student check-in counter, and there are checks ready for pickup by all the high school best and brightest finalists at the check-in counter as well. As we say goodnight, a heartfelt congratulations to all of our finalists from everyone involved in best and brightest awards. You make us proud. A hearty thank you to our sponsors uh, for providing them with scholarships making this event possible, sustaining it for 18 years. And to everyone, please have a safe night. We will see you again next year. Thank you. Thank you.